Today on the Tiger Basketball Report, we'll preview the Tigers game against the Pride of Hofstra. Get ready fans, the Tiger Basketball Report starts right now. Hello again fans and welcome inside the Towson Sports Network studios for today's edition of the Tiger Basketball Report. Towson Tigers will take on the Hofstra Pride for the first time this season and to talk about it, I'm joined by head coach Diane Richardson. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thank you. So before we get to the Pride, uh, yesterday was really, I, I think, one of the proudest days for me working here and having been a student here, uh, the diversity workshop with you, Pat Scarry, and uh, Don Medal of men's basketball and, and volleyball. Uh, the three of you going up on a panel and talking about your experiences raising children who are on the autism spectrum. What was that day like for you? Well, you know, it really felt good for me to be able to talk and, and it really felt good to know that, you know, the administration's behind us and where I have, you know, colleagues like Pat Scary and Don Medal that are experiencing some of those things. But it was good for us to be able to speak to others and I think it was a a standing room only crowd there and it's good to make people aware of people that are on the spectrum and and how to interact with them yeah i believe it was about 350 students uh, administration teachers staff came together and and you said how the athletic department supports it. It, it it isn't just a men's basketball thing or a volleyball thing or a women's basketball thing uh, matt tyner the new baseball coach was there the mm -hmm. men's golf team was there a handful of co other coaches and teams when you look around and see the department who maybe teams who don't have anything to do with autism awareness coming and supporting, what does that mean to you in thinking about your decision to come to Towson? Well, you know, it, it was really good to see, and, and I know in my initial interview, um, I came to Towson not knowing about that, and, and I was wearing my autism awareness and autism speaks bracelet, and I had a one-on-one -on -one with Pat Scary, and he noticed the bracelet, and we just started talking about our kids and all of that, and I was like, wow, this is unusual. And, and then to find out that there's an autism awareness game and Pat Scary's real instrumental with that, it made me feel really good and really, really at home. And, and, and Don and Pat and I talk about some of the things that we're trying to do here at Towson for awareness. Again, a great event yesterday uh, with all of Towson Athletics involved. And, uh, but to business now, Hofstra mm -hmm. on Friday at 7 o'clock inside CQ Arena. Ajene Durant, probably one of the top forwards, uh, top three, top five forwards in the CAA offensively, defensively, you have to account for her on both ends of the court. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, a very f a phenomenal player on both ends, like you said. And, and, you know, they've got some other pieces that we have to be aware of, too. And they kind of put all of those things together. So we've got to have a very solid game plan coming into Friday. Krista Kilburn, Stavesky, and her staff, they are probably, in my opinion, one of the most intense and active mm -hmm. staffs on the sideline. Um, there's been some heated games between these two teams. It's kind of a rivalry. A lot of kids from New York come mm -hmm. to Towson. A lot of kids from Baltimore go to New York. Right. Uh, when you have to prepare for a team that isn't just intense and they mimic their coaching staff, but a coaching staff that is very active, right. uh, how do you prepare your staff for that? Yeah, well, you know, knowing Krista for a long, long time, and she has actually a couple of my former players on her team right now, and, uh, you know, in dealing with her, I, she is very intense. She's very serious about everything about women's basketball. Um, but we've got to prepare as well. We've got to have some intensity to match that intensity. I know it'll be a homecoming for some of those players too, so they're going to be up and ready, so we've got to be ready to defend. This is a team, Hofstra, they're, they're not doing great. I believe they're 4-8, four 4-7 and eight, four and seven in the conference right now. Mm -hmm. um, they're interesting, though, because they're able, they've showed the ability to keep very offensive-powered teams low. Right. Uh, JMU only scores 55 on them. I think Drexel only scores 47. Mm -hmm. When you look at your own team and you see that there have been games when you've struggled by your own doing, right. how do you have to say, okay, now this is a team that defensively can really lock it down? Right, right. And, and you know, we've been working on our defense as well because we'd like to be in that position, but we've got to understand all of the parts and, their, and the way they run their defenses as well and find holes and gaps in that. And, and final question is, you're in, unfortunately, the midst of a losing streak. 
they've mm -hmm. lost four or five straight as well. Right. When you have two teams here who are desperate for a win, mm -hmm. what, how does that set up this game? Well, I, I think it's, it's probably going to be more like a rivalry game because we're both trying to get wins. And as we get toward the end, the, you know, the latter part of the season, we're both struggling and we need a win. And so I think both of us will probably pull out all the stops in this game. All right. Tigers and Pride will hit the court inside CQ Arena Friday at 7 o'clock. If you can't make it to CQ, I'll have the call on TowsonTigers.com starting at 645. Coach, thanks for joining us. Good thank luck against Hofstra. Thank you so much. And thank you, fans. And again, we hope to see you at CQ. Thanks for joining us. And as always, go Tigers.